Hello everybody, welcome to the video today. We are going to be sampling and or testing um, Fox Hills 2022, I think is the name of the game. So um, yeah, we're gonna be going through and be writing this brand new track, came out on MX Bikes Mods page. If you guys wanna get it, feel free to look in my bio. You guys can find it in my bio, in my description. You guys will be, uh, find it there, I guess you guys can. Um, yeah, but I mean, heard good things about it it's got some good reviews and i got the update version but they both went into my game basically so i don't know which one's which so basically i have two fox hills 2022s and one of them's updated one of them's not so we're gonna be trying out um what i think is a really cool track i ended up actually just doing a lap so um i still am very new to the track i can't do a lap and just automatically know what's going on completely forgot i think i absolutely burned that out the first time i was on it then that nice inside rut and you go back this way and then there's actually a nice little uphill switchback sort of thing where you come up this way and then you go up and then you switch and then you switch back i thought that was really like a fun flowy section you head up to this little thing right here and then this is a very tough section uh just because of how deep ruts can be and ruts are up there so there's that then you head down this massive Okay, I overcorrected there. The massive hill. Then you head back up, basically vertically. Head back up this. And luckily, hill physics are not really playing a role. I don't know how, but uh, yeah, I mean, the track creator, whoever, you know, put this in. It looks like it was from another game or something like that. So whoever put it in here. Obviously, you can't fix everything, considering that is still dumb. But uh, yeah, I guess did their best and still gonna try to make this corner but yeah uh we're just trying to rip here and uh we're not trying to display any speed or anything kind of just enjoy the track take it a uh, corner by corner and really work on it that way got kind of stuck in this rut for sure heading deep down to here and then have to jump back up here as well and at this point i'm almost done getting through my sickness i can feel it like i'm almost done if you guys don't know i have been sick for the last you know probably week or so so it's not over yet and uh, i'm still coughing up you know a bit but um also allergies are playing a role as well so in case you guys are curious um i have very terrible allergies very horrific <laughs> and uh normally they come around this time of year so to have I basically had like a little stomach bug going around and then I actually also had allergies starting up and then I had a cold as well or something like a cold. So yeah, that was also all pretty fun. So all that was just a bunch of fun stuff to unpack all at the same time. But uh, yeah, I'm getting better. I'm probably just on the last like couple of things. Like I've still got, like I said, a minor cough and, um, and just the allergies are still around. So not bad. Definitely doing a lot better mentally. And, uh, like, my sleep-wise, I'm, I'm getting a little bit better sleep right now. On a wax schedule, but I'm still getting enough. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess hop back onto the subject of the track here. What I really enjoy about the track is the detail and texture and just the fun uh, that it is. I think that this track could race really well in, uh, in the game. I think that people could enjoy that as well. I'm going to try to put the power down and get up this hill. And then head up here like so. Try to head towards the left side because this is the inside as well. Didn't particularly want that one. I'll have to hop down here. And uh, almost go down. Basically it went down. It's basically the same thing. Especially losing all forward momentum not to make it up the hill. It's basically, you know, just, just screwing you over. And then you want to jump down to the left here because this jump is a little bit off uh, center there but no worries it's all fun it's all great it's all good i want to get back into this inside i'm going to cross over the whole track try to get back inside but yeah i think this track could really race well so um speaking of racing by the way too make sure to go ahead and uh join the discord uh because i do want to put on a few races here soon as soon as we get enough people, I'm actually probably going to put on a message today or tomorrow, I'd assume, if I remember. Um, just asking how many people would want to race if I were to do one. So uh, if you guys are interested and or curious, go ahead and uh, 
to join up into that. But, uh, yeah, I guess. Look down in the description and you'll find that link to the Discord and uh, the link to the track and then a link to my other YouTube channel where I'm probably going to start uploading today or tomorrow. I would think tomorrow, actually. So, uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that if you guys want to go join that channel. It's just me talking about real racing or real life racing and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go subscribe to that, go subscribe. But back on subject here with the track very fun very different than anything we've gotten recently for sure um for me it's all about fun in a sense it's not how well the track is done it's just whether or not you can have fun and click with the track and you could definitely spend some time and then have the time of your life on this track for sure you can grind for fast laps or whatever it is that you do but you could definitely, definitely have a bunch of fun on this track, regardless of, uh, you know, what you're playing it for. You're playing it to get faster? D done. Done. I'm going to crash again? No? Cool. Um, you, you can play it to, to get better, to get faster, to have fun, uh, to, to learn the game, even. And uh, you, you'd learn a lot. It'd take a little bit longer than, like, say, another track, but... I mean, still, you'd be learning the game quite quite well. Gonna miss that inside again? Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. By the end of this video, I better have that inside done. Or at least better have hit it. So, uh, we'll try to get up this. The jumps on this, though, aren't that great. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably the only downside. The jumps and scaling of the, of the jumps. So, like, the faces and whatnot. Scaling is fine on some of them, but... Uh, there's another one. I'm sure it's meant to be like that, but I just prefer it not being like that. So if that makes any sense. I'm not trying to diss the track creator for making it realistic. I really actually admire that. Um, this to me is really fun. Then you actually you head down. And then this next section, I'm trying to hit the inside. I didn't know if there is an inside hook. I thought there was. Um, this jump right here. If you go over this, and then you have this kind of cool thing that we call crashing makes me really happy but this jump right here this little roll and then you have to like jump really short into this right here and then you know, kind of do, do your thing and then hop back up here nothing's wrong with any of the scaling other than that on uh, just those jumps but um yeah i mean i just prefer it to be a little bit bigger and to have probably a jump or two a little bit more often but that's just me personal preference it's nothing that has to do with the track creator or whatever it's just um I guess it's just a me thing, so nothing to really complain about. But uh, one thing I did want to try is not to go wide open on, like, every corner. But, like, I don't know. Just try to, like, let it eat on the outsides because that's what outsides are for. So we're going to go ahead and do a little tester. And, uh, you know, when it comes up, when we're coming up on all the corners and crashing all the time. Oh, my lud. Oh, my lud. <laughs> I don't know why I said lud. Um, hop back inside right here. Actually, I want to see if the inside's still, still rocking right there. It is. It's cool. It's good. It's not the greatest line for sure, but it does the job. And then this jump right here, it's a bit sketchy when you don't know it was there on my first lap doing it. It was a bit rough. And then, yeah, like that, like I said, this jump's off-centered. And now we're just crashing a lot, so... Hopefully you guys are enjoying the crashes and the, and the what not to do's because there's a lot of those in this video already. So, yeah, I mean, you guys are learning everything not to do on this track. And I feel like that I can't do anything better as a, as a creator and an influencer, or I guess not as an influencer, but as an influence on you guys. I'm influencing you guys not to, uh, to do all this stuff. I'm going to try to take like a different line right here and that. Okay. Okay, mine. I understand. And in this game, I don't know why I'm riding, riding the Kawasaki right now, but it is no bueno for motocross. Sorry, I was edging my nose. Um, it is no bueno for motocross. I think I just said supercross. I could be stupid and wrong. Probably both. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. I guess we could uh, just flow around the track and try to give you guys a, a freaking crash through. La uh, crash free lap and spotless english but that probably won't happen neither of them but uh yeah basically go inside right here you head back down this uh hill 
you take this like 180 degree corner that you jump into you could take the uh the tabletop or not i like to head to the left side of that it's a little bit smaller so you're not taking that much of a time cut i'm gonna go super far inside right there uh, i feel like that line was not the best but it works then you got this little downhill right here to get into another inside rut and then back inside and try not to tuck the front because that seems to happen a lot headed back up here back up here hitting this berm not wide open but might as well be third gear isn't that fast but I'm trying to hop into this corner here understand physics hard to do kind of bank off of this right here kind of try to like apex almost down into here a little bit too much for sure headed down outside second gear go third gear head up this want to jump a little bit left look right here give yourself the best shot at this inside of the line and then you want to like scrub almost down that but not the way i just did it because obviously visually you guys can tell that probably not the way to go and now you're just sliding because this game is great and super fun and awesome and fantastic. You actually want to jump down right here. And slide out again. Oh my god, I'm having the best time of my life right now. Going first gear over this. Going to land. I'm actually going to shift down to the third right now already. And then, not okay, slide out again. Love that. That's awesome. Okay. And then you head into this corner. Uh, you don't have to quite tippy toe like I did. I just did that because I had a really bad entry, aka I crashed. So there's that. Head back up into here. Prefer this inside line by miles. I don't think it even comes close. And then this outside isn't great, but better than the inside. So I'd much rather take that jump right back into the line. And just like that, you are a winner on this track. If you do the lap exactly like that, make sure to crash in all the right places and make sure to click the subscribe button and like button both of them are completely free and both actions you can undo anytime if you'd like and uh yeah just join join up all right just just hit the subscribe button uh hit the like button and uh enjoy the video and enjoy the channel that is my message to you guys that is all i have to say uh therefore i will be out of here out of your guys's hair and um yeah, I guess see you next time. I upload daily on the channel, so hopefully I see you tomorrow. And if I don't, sorry, you're missing out. Or, I mean, or not. I mean, depending on what you like and don't like. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.